Welcome back. Now that we've had a chance to think about some series and products, let's talk about some special values of these sums. Let's first talk about a simple series, the constant series. That is a sum that looks like this, the sum from k equals 1 to k equals n of a constant c. What we get is c plus c plus c plus c. There are k copies of this because we start off at 1 and go up to n. k copies of c gives us k times c. Let's look at something a little bit more complicated where we're dealing with an arithmetic series. Uh, this is going to be a finite arithmetic series. If we have an infinite arithmetic series, that will not give a value for the sum. So we're only thinking about the finite case where we have something that looks like this, a sub 0 plus a sub 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub n. We'll see that there's a simple formula for the value of this series. And here's where we get it from. An arithmetic series starts off with some value, adds d, adds d again, adds d again, and continues to add multiples of d. We'd like to know what the sum of these terms is. We're going to take this sum and turn it around. So we'll make the last term the first term, the next to last term the second term, and keep going. The reason why we do this is now let's add these two sequences together and add each of the columns together. The sum of the terms of the series doesn't change when you turn them around, so this sum is the same. And if we add these two series together, we get two times that sum. And now let's look at each of these columns. If we take a sub 0 plus a sub 0 plus nd, we get 2 times a 0 plus nd. In the next column, we've added d to one term, but subtracted d to the next term. And so the sum of these two things is exactly the same. It's 2a0 plus nd. And indeed, every single column gets the exact same sum. 2 times a0 plus nd. In all, we've started with term 0 and gone to term n, so there are n plus 1 copies of this value. Hey look, that's a constant series. And so we conclude that 2 times the sum that we care about is 2a0 plus nd times n plus 1. And so, when an arithmetic series is written as a0 plus a1 plus dot 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 plus a n, we can find the sum of the series using this formula. Another way you can calculate the value of the sum is to see 2a0 plus nd as the sum of the first and the last terms, and to see the number of copies as the number of terms in the series. A more heuristic way to talk about what this sum of the series is, is to take the sum of the first and the last term and multiply by the number of terms and then divide by 2. So let's practice these two formulas for a particular example. Consider the series 13 plus 18 plus 23 plus dot 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 plus 78. We recognize that this is an arithmetic series because we start off with some value, and each time we're adding the same value. We're adding 5 to each term. We have practice writing this series as a0 plus dot 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 plus a n. a0 is equal to 13. d is the common difference, is 5. And we can calculate the index of the last term in this series by seeing that this would be 78 minus 13 divided by 5. So n is equal to 13. If we apply the formula from the previous page, we see that s is equal to 2a0 plus nd times n plus 1. Or in other words, 2 times 13 plus 13 times 5 times 14 divided by 2, and we get 637. If we wanted to apply a method 2, what we would do is we would figure out the first term of this series, 13. The last term of this series is 78. And the number of terms we would have to calculate by doing 78 minus 13, the first minus the last, divided by the common difference, 5, 
add one, and so the number of terms is 14. Plugging this into the second formula from the previous page, we see that the sum is the first term plus the last term times the number of terms over two, and that gives us the same value of 637. See you next time.